Good afternoon, judges, guests, and fellow speakers. Today, I'm going to be giving you a look into the world of mental health. Millions of people are faced with the challenges of mental health every day. In fact, over 20% of Canadians experience some type of mental health in their lifetime. From anxiety over a geography test, been there, done that, to eating disorders and severe depression, it all falls under one main category. Having a mental health condition doesn't make you different. It makes you human. I'm sure at least once in your life you will be anxious about something and that's a part of your mental health. This speech is how I'm going to prove the importance of mental health and teach you about the impact it has on people daily. So, you may be asking yourself, why should I care? Well, you should care for many reasons and here are a few of them. Did you know that suicide counts for 30% of deaths of people aged 15 to 24? Yeah, 30% may not seem like a lot to you, but when you compare that to the 7 billion people in this world, that number becomes much larger. In Canada, 1 out of 5 children get the proper care for mental health. That's 4 other children who don't get the opportunity to live their lives happy and carefree. Free mental health hotlines and resources include COAST, Kids Help Phone, and Contact Hamilton. Some children and youth are unaware that help is available. Are you not sure if you or someone you love is struggling with mental health? Well, here are the different types of negative mental health and how they can affect you. Eating disorders, anxiety, depression, and self-harm are all part of your mental health. So, what is it exactly? Well, according to the dictionary, mental health is a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. With eating disorders, for example, people are constantly watching their weight. Different kinds of eating disorders include anorexia, bulimia, obesity, and binge eating. And people with anxiety disorders frequently have intense, excessive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. Often, anxiety disorders involve repeated episodes of sudden feelings of intense anxiety and fear that reach a peak within minutes, and those are panic attacks. Depression is a state of low mood and aversion to activity that can affect a person's mood within minutes. People with a depressed mood can feel sad, anxious, hopeless, helpless, and terrible things like that that nobody should ever feel. Self-harm is the practice of injuring yourself, especially by cutting, in order to relieve emotional distress. If you or anyone you know has experienced any of these symptoms, there is help available. Many mental health options are available to suit everyone's needs. Options vary from a hotline, an online site, to medication and therapy. Different methods work well for some people and poorly for others. Doctors or medical, mental health services can often recommend treatment options depending on your situation. <clears throat> Self-diagnosis can be extremely dangerous if you decide to give yourself medication without a doctor or medical professional's consent. A great service that is available for you is called Contact Hamilton. You or a parent can call in looking for help, treatment options, and any other information involving mental health. If you're going through a hard time, please know that you aren't alone. Trust me, I've been there. It's hard and anyone who wants to deal with everything that mental health does needs to know how strong they really are. In reality, things aren't always going to be fine and life can be hard and it can push us down. We're strong, so let's be strong together. Mental health is something that everyone should accept. If someone you know has mental health, please don't go and make jokes about it because it's a very sensitive and a very real topic. Instead, help them through the daily challenges they may face. Mental health can affect anyone, anywhere, at any time. My name is Olivia Eisenman, and I am affected by mental health. I am diagnosed with general anxiety, social anxiety, and PTSD. I have a lot to deal with, with the support of friends and family, they make my day a lot easier. I am here talking about something that I personally deal with every day. I hope this speech somehow has an impact on your life, and I may not hate you now. But one day you'll understand what a big impact it really has on people worldwide. May 1st to 7th, schools, individuals, and workplaces were raising awareness for Mental Health Week. That's just one week dedicated to raising awareness about this issue. But here's my question. Why should we focus on mental health for one week? That's one week out of 52 weeks in a year. Think about that. People need to feel safe and they need to have support year-round. So, I ask all of you here today to let others know that you can be there for them. Let them know they aren't alone. 